Uh oh. It dropped. It it dropped a twister. Alright, what's the size of it? I might have to Yep, we got a tornado! We got a tornado! Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Hardcore Minecraft Tornado Survival. So, pretty much I'm starting over again. This is episode two. The reason I'm starting over is because the other mod pack I was using did not have a high tendency of spawning tornadoes. And then I went and found this one. This one is back on 1.7 version of Minecraft, so... And it has a lot more mods installed working. Like I said, it's set to hardcore. Now, to mention, it also has realistic worlds in it. So, we're going to see how this goes. See how everything blows off. I've already, like I said, I've played it already. And apparently the first storm that ends up popping up usually ends up being like an F2 tornado. So, let's go. And that might be better. Alright, but yeah. What the frick? It's a brand new world that I just loaded. Oh my god. Seriously, enough with the fireworks. That's getting annoying. Uh, uh, we're not gonna. All right. Um. Let's see. So wood, wood, wood. We need wood, and we have cows, so we can get a little bit of armor. Um, uh, um. Pretty much what our goal is gonna be for this episode is to find a village. I sw This is gonna get. That's gonna get. R that's gonna get extremely annoying and extremely laggy. Here we go. Let's get it over with. I do not like the firework thing at all. I'm just saying that right now. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so that is gonna be super annoying, but um let me see. Uh, let me see. Is there like... Oh, actually, you know what? I need to get some food. I'm already starting to become hungry. The question is, is where were those cows? Because... There they are. I also, ouch. Uh, just do this, and... Do, do, do. Uh, I... Like, like... I really need to... I need to... I wonder if there's a way I can disable the fireworks. Uh oh, up oh, there it is. Just like I said, the first storm always has a tendency to become a twister, and it's gonna stay true to the video. All right, cow tipper, nice. Uh, I don't. Oh, I didn't get. Siri, really? Why does it need that? I don't even know what the use of that. Okay, dang it, no. I gotta get some candy. So which tree? Okay, there. Now I got speed, so we're gonna book the. We're gonna get the hell out of here before. Where is that storm? Actually, I can't see because there's the trees are too tall. I should have created an axe, but I didn't. All right, let's. Um, where is that storm? I'm just looking for black clouds. I do not see it. And here's another. Here's some more cows. I do need to try to get some leather armor. This is gonna be difficult. Uh, here, drop me your helmet. Nope, you didn't want to drop me your helmet. You're a jerk. Oh, f are you kidding? Oh, really? There's a battalion of them, and we're dead. That did not last long because a whole battalion of them just. Why does it always do that anytime I? It's like are you sure? It's like are you sure you want to delete this world? I'm like yes, I'm sure I want to. All right, delete. I don't know what the how, why so many zombies popped up. All right, yay, lag from. Oh my god, how far is that? I think that was the same distance as it was last time. So, first things first. Grab wood. Man, those fireworks lag the crap out of me. But yeah, that last one. God dang it! But yeah, as you saw, like I said, usually the first storm every time you make a new world is going to be highly active and highly charged. Alright, so we got that. Um, we're in a decentable spot where we actually can get a lot of stuff done real quick. Tons of cobble. And tons of stone for the rest of mine. Right here. So, yeah, this that last run did not last long at all. But at least the last mod pack that I was using was actually really boring. Because the storms weren't even producing twisters. They were just literally just little wimpy 
things and then they died out. This is actually immediately putting us in danger if we're unfortunate. And it looks like there's a couple of... Oh, cows right there. Okay, good. I do need those. Alright, so stone sword. Grab this. We have enough stone to get so Why is there a piece of ice right there? We're now going to grab some coal because we that's going to be something we're going to need. Give me that. Alright, now I'm just waiting for like the storm to pop up. So, I know that I need to be scared. Alright, grab this. And then we murder them. Give me, okay, give me a letter. Die, die, die. That's a, uh, oh yeah, that's a, a smooth, ow. That's a smooth, ooh, sheep. I need to kill. There's a huge herd of animals right here. I'm gonna have to be really careful right here because that will throw me in there. I experienced that firsthand. The first time I played that, I thought I was wondering what the heck this was. This smooth gravel will cause you to fall into a pit of tar and you are unable to escape by any means. Heck, even a twister went over me and it... Yeah, hang on, wait. Oh, see, there he goes. Fell down into the pit and he is not coming out. Let's grab, let's kill all of them because I'm going to need all the food I'm gonna, I can get because... I'm probably not going to be leaving this area till I don't know, until I feel comfortable. Did he just jump? I swear I thought he jumped to his deck. Alright, so... All right, come here, come here. Oh, wind's picking up. See any black storm cloud? Yeah, I see a little bit. Okay, die. Also, this does have custom um, mobs like tar slimes and stuff so those guys are also gonna be very dangerous for us to encounter cuz we can't get out of them and apparently the only way to hurt them is this oh are they poisoned? is that poisonous? yes it is die oh uh, let me see Grab that yeah and if anyone wants to see what happens to animal uh, to animals who get caught in that they basically get stuck in there and they die that's the same what the heck and now we are set and secure sir I over every time I look up I and I see that I'm like what the heck is that all right so we are now safe from all harm so I wanna I'm gonna actually build this up by one real quick just so I don't suffoc I don't when I get up I don't suffocate alright well this is our current base so yeah sun's going down those cows are poisoned we're gonna smelt some food oh we have more and I'm gonna go to sleep I'm gonna go sleepy sleep ah. excuse me There we go. Now, we should not die to any monsters. Tornadoes, probably. Alright, let me see. What's going on? Nothing. Alright, so. Let this finish cooking. So the sun's over there. It's day. We're gonna grab. We're gonna bring our door. Bring our crafting table, our bed, our torch. And as soon as this is done smelting as much as it can, we'll grab it. I don't want to waste the coal, the power of coal. And when I could have gotten some extra food. Uh, I'm going to say probably two more before it dies out. So, one. It should yeah it's gonna die out like either right after or right before it's gonna be right after all right there we go so grab that and we are good to leave so let's see that's the storm we're gonna want to stay ahead of, try to get out of the way that is a meteorite all right um Mar 
like actually I think there might be multiple meteorites. I can't tell. Oh, leaves are starting to blow, blow blah blah blah. Blow in that direction. I started boing, boing, boing. Running as fast as I can. I need to. Since the sun's about to go down, I'm actually going to be a little screwed. Considering that. I still haven't even seen any. Ouch. Signs of a village. Let alone. Oh, the, yeah, there's a slime. There's one of those slime monsters I was talking about. The freaking. What what's its face? Tar slime. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. That's that scared me. Actually, that actually made me jump in my heart. Stop. <sighs> so I thought I was gonna get caught and die again. So that thing will kill you. See, I'm just waiting for one of these cactuses to look like the freaking the little the meme cactus. That I've been seeing because of that I saw a lot of because of toy of the new uh, not Toy Story Kingdom Hearts game, the Kingdom Hearts three game. He was in the Toy Story, and this is a temple. This is indeed a temple, and that's a freaking thing of quicksand. Let's see, smooth sandstone. Okay, this is safe to walk on. Um. Should I live here? Or is that? Oh god, those things multiply like crazy. Running the. Alright, we're running away. That thing is too dangerous to. Right, I'm gonna kill these things. Try. But they, they have a high armor. They have a high armor. So, okay, you know what? We gotta run from that. Too dangerous. Probably not. The odds of me finding the village. Because I've been searching for a long time now. It's probably extremely slim. I am probably just better off doing that and making that tree into my base. So that's exactly what we're going to do. There's actually two of them. So if one of them becomes damaged and unlovable. I can go and actually live in the other. So, oh wait. Bad, 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 bad. There we go. Almost forgot about it being starting to turn night time. But yeah, I'm actually going to start working on the house. Still no tornadoes. Maybe that will be one. Well, now that we're actually found our location. Um, let's see. My question is, is there going to be anything on the inside? Nope, just more wood. It's redwood, too. All right, here we go. So now that we've got this, that is actually really horrifying to look at. All right, so now that we have our base of operations that we're going to officially live in, i got to place down some couple of torches so I'm gonna place a couple of them all around the tree because I know mobs are gonna spawn underneath the shade all right so we're gonna take this we need to place down the crafting table place down the furnace and I don't have any coal so I'm gonna be screwed if I run out of food and those things are huge those are some huge trees all right we just gotta I'm going to cut this out a little bit and I'll come back with like what the final product of it is going to be. The prototype product is going to be of this little hidey hole. Let's see. Can I use this for anything? Redwood planks. I'm assuming that I can also use. No, I can't. So this is actually something we can't use. Alright, so that means all right, I know what I'm going to do. So we're going to take this, take this. That's the first time that's ever happened. Right. Um, my question is, is, are there any nearby caves that I can explore for potential ores and all that? Let's see, I think this is just a little dip. I do not pay attention that well, because if I did, I would have noticed on the map that there is literally a freaking village right over here. The whole time I've been looking for a village, I finally become across an area that I'm going to live in. There's a village right next to it. Oh, I guess I better... S no, those sheep scattered. I guess, uh, do I still have my bed? Yeah, I do. It's full of villagers. I guess I can still live in the tree, and then I will have this, then there's this village area that I can tr- Uh, uh, uh. Cotton seeds. 
Uh, but first, we need to go and raid these guys of whatever valuables they may have. Cold Coke. Uh, what I like about this is that there's like villagers trapped inside their houses, so it actually makes it really freaking easy for me to keep them safe. Alright, what do you got? You usually tend to have trap them in there. What are you supposed to be? I've seen you a couple times. Okay, you're that guy. Uh, my question is, is do... Okay, yeah, we do. We do have a blacksmith. There's this. Alright, I did. What do you got in here? What is this? Cookie baked with the love for a grasser. Candy corn. I got some... We got some ores. Okay. I really don't want this place to get hit by a twister because the last time it did um, the entire all the buildings were destroyed so I think what I'm gonna have to do in order to preserve the villagers is one turn their buildings and their and everything they have into cobblestone for the time being until I can make it nicer there, there has got to be a monster spawner below. I gotta hope. Well, cause, actually, I think that's gonna be a challenge of mine. Is any time I live near a village or in a village, I have to protect the villagers. So, and one of them has, there has to be, uh, oh, that's, that's not good. That's actually aimed right at the village. So, but yeah, I'm gonna have to try and like guide the villagers towards this tree. Because this is probably going to be the safe... Oh my god. I'm kind of a little scared to come over here and check for a tornado. Just because I know the la from experience the last time a tornado went through a village. It destroyed the entire village and killed all the villagers. But I think we have some time before... Unless it's already dropped a twister then that's going to be a little bad. Um, yeah, this hasn't dropped the twisters. And we have a little while before it's actually going to be over here. But I'm going to say that we need to try to get all of the villagers' houses converted into cobblestone so that way they don't die. Because... Or what I could do is I was going to say I could add underground shelters to their houses and make them, give them safe places. So I have all this redwood and that's actually moving here pretty quickly. Alright, so I'm going to start converting this into redwood. Where's the sun? It's, okay, it's over there. And that is scary as heck to watch. I'm also going to need to add a weather system. Computer. Um, I didn't go and get. Oh wait, yeah, I did. I got coal. Okay, so grab that coal that I raided from there. That's horrifying. I'm gonna have to try to at least get one of the houses fortified. I'm like panicking right now because that, like I said, it's usually there's gonna be with this mod pack. It's there's gonna be a lot of storms going. I'm like making sure there's like not gonna be a double whammy, and it's just gonna be the one, and that's actually gonna about to drop down. I'm gonna need to like double barricade this door so that way I'm not getting sucked out. I'm just hoping the bark will stay because if it doesn't that means I'm going to die. Okay go to sleep real quick and then we're going to go rush over to some of the villagers. I've trapped some of them. Alright we're going to rush over to these guys real quick. Try and save the try and save some of the villagers if we can because I would like them to be in my tree. My soon to be treehouse because that would help us a lot with pretty much protecting them because I can put them yeah no we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hurry we're not gonna have a lot of time to I, I just thought of something I should have kept this as redwood because it cannot pick up log uh oh uh oh it dropped it it dropped a twister all right what's the size of it I might have to yep we got a tornado we got a tornado oh that's not good where is that exactly like how far away is that from the tree fort i want to oh that's right right in the field all right all right I, I gotta run i gotta rush get a rush get a rush the village is taking a direct hit and it's gonna get destroyed i think what i'll do is for like the first episode i'm not sure if this hey you know what? i'm gonna let you guys vote on this if you watch to this point 
but tell me if you think I should be allowed to make block destruction not possible for the first episode until... Alright, well, we got a twi tornadic emergency. That thing is hitting the treehouse dead on. Yo, dude, get in! There's a tornado! Dude. Oh, that's like going right past the treehouse. Oh, and they're all starting to freak out now. That's just now hitting the tree. This is horrifying to watch. Oh my god, it is destroying. Uh oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, get, get, I'm getting in here. Get, I'm getting the hell in here. This is the second time I've done this. Oh, oh no, there's villagers out there. Oh, they're gonna die. Oh, there's quite a few villagers who are stuck outside. It's a twister. Run. Are they gonna live? Oh, if they survive this, that would be funny as heck. Oh, no. He's getting sucked away. Oh, he saved the trees. Oh, my God. The villagers are surviving this. Okay. I don't think they're going to get hit as bad as I thought. But this means I have... Well, there goes a sheep. I'm going to need to, like, add in, like, a safety bunker to this. Because this is, like, the most secure. All right. So that twister wasn't as deadly as I thought it was going to be. And we lost, I don't even think we lost a single villager, but, hey look, cloud. Dropped us down some clouds. Did it just die off or is it still going? Still going. Alright, well, surprisingly, all the villagers survived, but, this is, got, I think after that, I think now that we've gotten our village and everything, we are going to end episode one, or not episode one, two, and yeah i think we had enough action i'm gonna take some time try and get the village prepped up for an actual in case something like that does come around again because i think that thing's getting bigger ah. excuse me but i definitely think that's getting bigger but surprisingly all the villagers survived and they were all indoors and outdoors Surprisingly, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm not gonna record the what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna take like another 30 minutes after and just start working my butt off to get the village completely stormed proofed and everything so I'm gonna have to So I'm pretty much just gonna be going through oh I think the storm I think the tornado died No, it didn't. it's still gone but yeah, th right now this is like the only safe spot that the villagers have. So I'm going to have to turn this into like a stormproof building and just hope that they don't die for like the moment. So, but yeah, like I said, this is going to be the end of episode two. I did say one originally. I'm sorry, but this is going to be the end of episode one. I, I did it again. This is going to be the end of episode two. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later.